What is up guys? Welcome back to Rogan Films. Today I am going to show you guys how to code your very own Reaction Rolls Discord bot. Let's get started. As, as you can see, we are in our last project we made on autocode, the member count command. Wonderful, isn't it? So guys, to first start off our reaction rolls, we're going to need to make a message create trigger. So, come up here, new endpoint. This little bar here, and click on your HTTPS requests and hit Discord. Come down here and type message.create and enter and hit OK. Now, delete all that stuff. Wasn't that hard? Very quick. Now, we're going to jump over into our create.js or JavaScript file. And we're going to grab this. Now, why are we going to grab this? Well, it's hard to write out a lot of code and get very tiring. So why do that? Let's just copy and paste it down. Now we'll add our curly brackets at the end, like so. Come up here to your trigger prefix and change it to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to R. -R. Look at that. So simple. Then you're going to come over here. Now I do have another tab open. It is Discord Embedded Builder and I already have the thing set up here. You can do this all you like if you want. You just click here, here, anywhere and it works. It makes an embedded for you, just for you. You can change the color. I prefer this one here where I can change it all this far and I like that color. We can add fields, which is, let's see, let's show you, something like that, and you can have the value, which is something underneath it, all very useful, but we won't be having that, we can have a timestamp, an image, a thumbnail, and we can have a footer, all of this is very simple and easy to add, we can have a message reference, which is where it replies to the message, just anything, now, Come down here and click this copy code. Once you've clicked copy, you'll get this little green success symbol come up, and then you jump back over to your code. Come up here in between your two curly brackets and paste it back down. Oh, don't need that. Righty, look at that. That has basically set up our command. Now if you want, you can go to Discord and check it out right now. But first, let's hit save. And you're in Discord. Now, do your prefix and the thing to trigger your command and just test it out. And look at that, it sent it. How amazing is that? Now with this, when you're ready, you can then get it to send up in your role claim section, which we're gonna have it send in here. How wonderful is that? So guys, we're over here back in the autocode embedded builder. We'll come down here and you notice there's a components section. Click on that to open it up. And when it opens, you can choose between a button or a select menu. We're going to go for a button. So what do you want the name of your button? Well, we're gonna call this ping. Well, we're gonna call it this emoji right here that we use. So just copy and paste it and put it right there. This little slider here allows you to change the color of your ping rolls that you have. This right here. How wonderful is that? We're going to keep it on secondary, which is this one right here. Come after the pin. Now this is anything you want. We're just gonna type ping. 
and all this stuff here you can leave except your custom ID. We're going to call this Ping Roll Grand. I'll tell you what that is in a second. Now hit New Button and basically fill it out exactly how you did all the other ones. So, giveaway, secondary, giveaway, roll, grant, that's all, and a new button, gen, roll, pings. Come up here to primary, hit secondary, general pings, general roll brand. And that is all you need to do. Look at that. So perfect. Now hit copy code again. Let's copy to your clipboard, jump back over here and paste over top of your old code that we did that we have to come up here and just remove that. And hit save. Once it's saved, jump over to Discord and give it a test. And look at that, it works. These buttons, they won't do anything. They don't magically give you the roll, but we'll get it to work soon. Look at that, very cool and modern. Jump back over to AutoCode. Now, we're going to need to make something to give us our rolls. So, hit Create New Endpoint. This is going to be Discord. But this time, it's going to be a new event detail, it's going to be a button interaction, and here's where the customer ID comes in. We're going to call this ping underscore roll underscore grant. It's okay. Now, do not name that whatever you feel like. You want to name it the exact thing you named your custom ID for this one right here. Ping roll grant. So jump back over here and delete all that. Now, here's where the interesting thing happens. This is where we're going to add in the roll. So we're going to do await lib dot discord. And we're going to want roles. Remove roles, add a role to a user. This is what you're gonna to wanna to click. And this is all the information you're going to need. Now the user ID, we're going to do dollar sign, curly brackets, and we're going to do event dot member dot user ID. That grabs the person's ID who ran the command. Come down to the guild ID, dollar sign, curly brackets, and we're going to do guild ID. Now the roll ID. This is where things start to get a bit heated up. So jump over to Discord. Open up your roll settings. Come over to roles. Scroll down to find the roll you want. In this case, it is pings. Hit more. Don't hit the delete button, hit the copy ID. Now your rolls are now copied to your clipboard. Jump back over to AutoCode. And paste your roll in there and hit finish config. Now look at that, that is literally all you need to do. Hit save. And wait for it to load. Once it's finished saving, jump back over to Discord. When you're in Discord, Check your rolls. Now it won't have added straight away. As you notice, I have the ping's roll. I'm going to remove it. So see, I don't have any roll, any ping rolls on me. Get off, come over here. Now it automatically updates to this one here. Hit the ping. Come back up here and click it and look. The roll has been added. 
How amazing is that? Now, all you need to do then is just complete those exact same steps for each roll. Let's do it. Remember to name your custom ID to the same roll that you want to grant. This is going to be giveaway underscore roll underscore grant. And hit OK. We're going to paste in our same one from our last interaction. We're gonna go back into Discord. We're gonna grab the giveaway pin roll. But here I'm going to show you a different way on how you can get the rolls. So at your thing, your rolls are at giveaway. Now you come to the very front and do a back slash like that. And it's send and it's going to send it with the ID and how it's usually sent when you want to mention it with the ID. Copy the ID which is the numbers, don't copy the end symbol or the at or these little symbols here. Back in autocode, swap out the ID. Good. And hit save. You can go back and test it straight away, but I'm pretty sure you don't need to. So create a new endpoint. This will be the last one, or depending on how many roles you want to grant. We're going to do world and world interaction, and we're going to do general underscore role underscore brand. If you're not sure with what role, what your custom ID is, always find to go back and check general role brand. Look at that, perfect. And we're going to do the same thing. Oops. We're going to come over here, copy and paste, that, and then we're going to jump back into Discord. At our general pings, go to the front and grab the ID like so. Jump back over to autocode. And add the ID in and hit save. Look at that. How amazing is that? And jump back over into Discord. You can click any of these buttons. So just to confirm, I do not have any ping rolls. I'm gonna grab the giveaway roll. And you can check and I get it. Click the general pings and I get the general pings roll. Click the ping roll and I get the pings. Look at that. So simple and easy. Then if you want, you can jump over into Roll Claim, and as you can see here, I have Dino doing my job, and they're using simple emoji reactions. How old fashioned of them. So we're going to do RR and send. And then if you want, you can then delete your message if you want. And then delete your old ones. Like that. How simple and easy is that? And look. So modern and so simple. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe. Now, if you guys want more videos like this one, get this video to 20 likes. I know you guys can do it because you guys absolutely demolished that like button before. So, until then, see you next time. Run Films out. <laughs>